Chances are, every time you edit a video, you'll be doing these three things, splitting, reordering, and trimming your clips. These are core editing moves that you need to learn. But the good news is that in LumaFusion, the movements are easy to do at literally the touch of a button. So grab your device and give them a go with me. Let's start by rearranging our clips. So let's say we want this first clip to play second into the middle of these two. To do this, simply tap and hold a clip to pick it up and drag it to a new place. The clips will snap together. Let's do that with another clip. I tap and hold and drag it into position. Easy. Trimming clips on your timeline allows you to shorten or lengthen your shots, fine tune your editing and make the difference between a rough edit and a final edit. To trim a clip, that is to shorten or lengthen it from its beginning or end, removing any unwanted footage, tap the clip to highlight and it will reveal a white border. You'll notice these arrows appear which will indicate which way a clip can be trimmed. If a clip is already fully extended, it of course can't be lengthened anymore as there's literally no more footage to see. So in this example to trim, I place my finger on the edge, either at the start or end of the clip and drag it towards the center. You can see the preview screen will tell us what frame we're cutting up to so we can see what we're doing. We simply let go of our finger on the screen when we're happy. If you make a mistake and trim off too much, it's not a worry at all, these trimming handles can be dragged the opposite way to get your frames back, as all of the information within a clip is stored within it, so nothing is ever lost. Notice here that because we're in insert mode using a magnetic timeline, the other clips on the timeline will move to stay next to the one you're trimming. If you're using overwrite mode, trimming a clip shorter will leave a gap in the timeline, whereas making it longer will overwrite anything in its way. To split a clip in two, tap your clip and use the scissor icon at the bottom of the screen to cut at the position of the playhead. It's good practice to really get precise with your splitting to avoid corrections later, which you can do by zooming into the clip to ensure you're cutting on the desired frame. Splitting is a useful technique to do if you want to put another shot in the middle of a clip. Just split with the scissor tool or your fingers either side of that playhead and drag and drop the desired shot in the middle. Also, it's great if there's a part in the center of a clip that you want to remove, like this section here. I can split it once, move my playhead along, split it twice, and delete the center part that we don't like by tapping it and pressing this garbage bin down here at the bottom of the screen. But don't fear, all mistakes can be undone by pressing the undo button once or multiple times. Getting comfortable with the actions of splitting and trimming and what effects it will have on your timeline will make the difference between whether you have fun editing or whether it makes you feel frustrated. So practice with these vital actions and get comfortable with them before moving on.